Does anyone else get on their social media just to look at photos of food? It can't just be me. My entire Instagram feed and Discover page are packed with the most gorgeous photos from some of my favorite cocktail creators, my favorite inspiring food bloggers, and just all around brilliant photographers who take the time to share their magic with the world. While there is no levitation in this video, I still have some magical tricks that I still think you'll find useful. Hey guys, Tawny of Replica Surfaces here. I cannot begin to tell you how much I love scrolling through the tagged photos of replica surfaces on Instagram. I know I've already said this, but it's because there are so many gorgeous creations there, it's the happiest place to scroll. In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks for your layered or towered stacks of baked goodies. And I'm gonna show you two photos using beverage glasses with vastly different contents to show you how glassware can be one of the most useful and versatile tools in your prop arsenal. Don't worry, we got permission to share these awesome photos with you from a few of our lovely Instagram followers. The handles of all of these wonderful humans who contributed to the gorgeous food photography in this video we're about to dive into will be linked in the description. Let's get it started with stacks on stacks on stacks. When you stack your subjects, you immediately add a level of intrigue and visual interest without the need for much additional styling effort. One of my favorite tools to use in any stacking situation is parchment or butcher paper. Whether you choose to crumple it up for an additional texture is up to you, but that crinkle gets me. What I love about this pre-crinkled parchment paper shot from Julia Heff is how she broke up the texture of the ingredients within these chewy energy bars with the addition of a few pieces of parchment paper between the layers. Plus that hand grabbing the top bar, an excellent example of the magical touch of humanity concept we're always talking about. An additional hand doesn't need to be doing anything crazy or wild to create a spectacular shot like this. Now let's get into that crinkled paper business I was talking about. But with one of my favorite styling props, and styling techniques all tied up neatly into this little cookie gift. I want you to check out this stunning shot of these delightful chocolate chip shortbread cookies from Hungry Little Asian Girl, sitting neatly atop a perfectly crinkled piece of parchment. All right, have you figured out what my favorite prop is in this scene? If you said pine cones, you were right. Little pine cones like these and pine branches are some of my favorite props for anything I need to photograph that is looking for a woodlands or mountain type of vibe. But since I live 5,000 feet above sea level, Mountain-esque vibes are very prominent around me and in the photos that I take, especially considering the weathered wood surface is one of my all-time favorite surfaces. If you're on the beach or somewhere maybe not mountainous, I can totally understand pine cones not being your cup of tea or whatever we drink when we are seaside. For me, it's a daiquiri or a limeade. But for my beach-loving peeps, you could consider other options like seashells, ropes, fishing net, and more. Let's switch gears and talk more props and muffins. But before we do that, let's take a moment to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos we're making for you guys. This next photo comes from Brunch and Batter and towers of muffins like this always catch my attention. Want to know a simple trick for creating sky high stacks of delicious creations like this? Toothpicks or wooden skewers are the ultimate hack for creating a sturdy foundation for your stacks or subsequent drizzles. Simply poke a wooden skewer down the center of your stack and then add one more item on top to hide the skewer. Icing drizzle, optional but highly encouraged if that's something that goes with your stack. What else can you stack? Think anything pokeable like brownies, chocolate cups, bagels, donuts, cinnamon buns, cookies, you get the idea. Highly recommend bagels. I also love the addition of the silver potato grater below the stack of muffins. I also have one of these handy props. It's one of the most awesome additions to any prop collection. These little guys look great when shot overhead too, whether you're shooting cookies on top of it or some cupcakes. While we're on the subject of using props for things they may not usually be intended for, like a potato or cheese grater to accent dessert, check out this awesome affogato photo in these coupe glasses from Life's Personal Chef. There are quite a few things I absolutely love about this photo, but the first is the use of the coupe glasses for something that is completely out of the ordinary. If you guys know me and my background, out of the ordinary is one of my favorites. Ice cream and coffee in bowls look great, but with the clear stemware, you're able to capture a fascinating layer story within the glass in the melty ice cream and the hot espresso that looks totally different than something you would shoot from overhead or at 45 degrees. I just love the pairing of the rich chocolate with the sweet yellow tones of the napkin that complement the changing color of the melty ice cream. Can anyone else tell that I'm ready for summertime and all the wonderful things that come along with it? It's been a long winter. I'm thinking about ice cream, fresh fruit, my blooming garden, and a cold, refreshing beverage. 
Speaking of summertime and refreshing beverages, you have to soak in this awesome shot from Takes Two Eggs. I'm absolutely loving the light and airy vibe of this entire image. The addition of the fresh strawberries in the background, foreground, and on the rim of these glasses have me full of envy. These glasses remind me of the water glasses my granny keeps in her cabinet. Very nostalgic for me when I saw this photo. They kept with the light and bright vibe by embracing the harder light and subsequent crisp shadows, and I just love the simple color story from the bright red strawberries and their perfectly green stems. This is a perfect example of red and green coming together in an ideal summerscape scene using colors that can sometimes be associated with the winter holiday season. And truly, they knocked it out of the park. And that's the way this cookie is crumbling, my friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow the lovely people who helped us create this video over on Instagram because they deserve the love. And I know they will continue creating gorgeous photos of food and drinks to help fill your feed the way mine is filled with gorgeous food and drinks. Fair warning though, it will make you hungry or thirsty anytime you get on Instagram, so come prepared. We really love hearing from you guys and we want to know what you want to see us cover in future videos. So leave us a comment and let us know what you want to see from us. Also, be sure to join us over in the VIP group to join an amazing community and for lots of chances to win free surfaces and other fun things. You never know what we might have up our sleeves. For me personally, it's likely snacks up these sleeves. Until next time, my friends.